Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach from Rocket Zero, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to make dual shot cannons. So, uh, these are the same thing. This is this one's just weaker than this one. This one is only four TNTs propelling it, and this one is six. And uh, you may have seen some other TNT cannon designs uh, on our channel, but this one uses dispensers, so it's pretty like pretty rapid firing really you just have to hit like the uh, the button or the lever this one works on both and you don't have to reload the TNTs or anything like that you just fill the dispensers and fire it away so this is the weaker one with a button and there it went it fired two you can see it went way over there and then this one is the lever and it's a little bit more powerful and it kind of gets a little bit more spread so let's go over here see this one fired the TNT's both landed in about the same spot and this one they are a little bit spread out um, both of these work either way like with the button or the lever uh, the lever though you just have to reset it back down um, so this is what we're going to need. We're going to need a building block, whatever type of building block you want. Uh, dispensers, sticky piston. This is optional, the uh, redstone lamp. I like it though, but it's kind of hard to get if you're still beginning in the game. Uh, redstone dust, a uh, redstone repeater, either a lever or a button, uh, water, and some sort of uh, like platform, launching platform for the TNT to get launched from. This is what I prefer a fence and a uh, pressure plate and of course TNT so I'm going to start equipping things um, I'm just going to use cyan that doesn't look very cyan -y, but sure dispenser sticky piston this 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 um, We'll use a button because I prefer a button. And water. Alright. So we're just going to build it right here. I'm just going to build this one. The six, uh, six dispenser long one. Because, well, it's better. So I mean, that's just the one I'm going to build. So we're going to start with the back. You're going to go one, two, three, one, two, one, one, like this. And then in this corner, you're going to put your sticky piston and then put that block on top. So this is what it should look like. And we're going to be building this way. So this is going to be here. Now we're going to put our dispensers down. And there's going to be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. And then we're going to fill this in with our other six and put one more and then our dispenser is going to go here. Then we can put this here and put our lamp. So you're doing six and then one more and then six and then one more. Well, I guess seven. But then six of them are dispensers. And then on the seventh one on this side, it is the dispenser and then a lamp. Um, I'm going to put the water down right there just on the very uh, last block. And then I'm going to get rid of that, and we're going to put in our launch pad. So it's going to be launching from here. So dig that block out, put a fence, and then a pressure plate. Like that. And now, all we need is the wiring. So from this block, we're going to go with our repeater this way and this way, going off of the block. And then both of those are going to be fully delayed. And then here. And then here. And then fill all this in with dust like that. So you have two signals going from this block on the sticky piston. So this one goes first. And then this one swings around and then follows it. And that's why this dispenser is receiving two signals. So it's going to launch two TNTs. Now we're going to use the... Uh, redstone repeaters all the way this way and these are going to be fully delayed also 
like that. And then we need to put redstone on top of all of these dispensers. So I'm going to leave fly mode. And if you crouch for uh, Xbox One, it's click in the right thumbstick. You can place things on the dispensers. And then we're going to do the same thing with the button. So we select the button, crouch, and our button's going to go here. So that is it. Let's make sure it works. You can see two signals going to this dispenser, and it worked. So I'm going to load it up with TNT. And we are going to fire. There was a big spread on that one. Well, not really. It looked bigger, but one just went way higher. And then, see, we don't even have to reload any of the TNTs. We just hit the button again, and it fires. Hit the button again, and it'll fire again. So this is a very efficient method if you already are stocked up on TNT. Um, it does quite a bit of damage. And it's pretty cool to impress your friends with like, oh, I you can make a, TN, a cannon that shoots one TNT. Well, I can shoot two at the same time. It's pretty cool. Um, I would use the dispenser method uh, and implement it on some of the other TNT cannons that we've built previously because it is pretty useful like i said you don't have to reload anything so that is it thanks for watching this was zach from rocket zero uh have a good day go impress your friends with the tnd cannon and blow some stuff up